everybody. This is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today starts day one of the 12 days of Christmas tags that I like to do. Um, it is December 13th and I don't know how late it will be when this video gets up and running and I'm not, I haven't completely decided how I'm going to do the whole series, but I'm going to start this series today um, and then at the end of the video I'll show you the tag. I may combine some of the days. Um, it just depends on how things go. Um, but I want to show you what I'm going to be using. Now I've mentioned this before and if you've heard this story you can fast forward through it if you don't want to hear it. But um, we, my family began this tradition many years ago, several years ago. We were living in a really teeny tiny town and my husband was pastoring a small church and we got home from shopping one night and it was two and a half to three hours to go shopping depending on where we went because um, we had a teeny tiny grocery store and a couple other little stores in our town and they were fabulous and they were great for the community um, but they didn't always have quite everything we needed and when we got home that night there was this little metal tin sitting on our porch and when I opened it up there was a hunk of toffee in it and the tin said on the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree and it was kind of odd it was like a secret Santa thing and we weren't sure who it was from and I was like well do we eat it you know what do we do and then the next night there was another one and it went on and on for the next 12 days and then on Christmas Eve there was a knock on our door and some people who attended our church um, said Merry Christmas and they had been our secret Santa for 12 straight days and it was a lot of fun. So the next year we took those same tag um, tins and um, passed it forward to somebody else and so we would try to sneak up at night and um, they lived across town from us but it was a small town so we would sneak up at night and our kids were really little and sometimes the kids would do it sometimes my husband would do it sometimes I would do it and we would leave it for this lady and then um, and Christmas Eve we revealed who we were but then I had a problem all my tins were gone and I looked and couldn't find more and so the tradition kind of stopped right there for a few years and a few years ago just oh probably four or five six years ago um, I started getting on the internet and I found this set of tags and um, I will put a link below and it's Sherry Osborne familycrafts.about.com but I'll give you the complete link to the tags and this time the tags were there and this is these tags that you see in front of you right now this is not how they print if you print in color um, I don't use them anymore but I wanted to show them to you and like I said I'll put the link because I base my whole 12 days of Christmas giving tags on these and um, so these are all red and green and pretty so the first thing that I want to tell you is if you're interested in doing this even if you're a day late it's okay do two days and get started it's not too late to start because you don't have to make fancy tags you can print these off or you can hand cut a little tag and write this out yourself whatever it at whatever it is you do but each day has kind of a quirky funny gift to give with it now I improvise some as uh, when we come to like four calling birds when we get to that day I'll tell you what I do but so this is what I did for a year or two I just cut these out and went and we did them and then this is the third year I believe that I have done 12 days of Christmas tags and um, if you go to my blog at www.djsundry.blogspot.com and look under the videos A to Z um, A to I can't remember I think it's G um, they are listed right there by year so you can look back at past years if you want to see some other ideas that I've done with them um, um, I have two years worth of videos up on those but um, so this year when graphic 45 came out with their 12 days of Christmas tag collection I thought that will be perfect I have used um, the Cricut joys of the season cartridge because they have a 12 days of Christmas tags on it but they didn't always match my tags as far as they 
some of them, like the Lords of Leaping or some of them, I can't remember which, kind of got mixed up. So I kind of had to improvise a little bit. But this year I'm just keeping it pretty simple and I'm using this collection. Now you may recall several months ago that I was the winner of part of this collection. And then I've just picked up, I used some rewards points to pick up some of it. And so I have a pretty complete collection. There's more to it than this, but I have quite a bit of it. So let me show you what I have. And this is what I'll be using. And then I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to start my tags. And I'm going to start the first tag. And then I'll come back and show it to you when it's all done. But to start with, one thing that I really wanted was this set of stamps. This is the one I use my rewards points on. Um, and this is... Um, the stamps that coordinate with each day so we've got 1 through 12 and they are they are exactly what the tags on the website are so that's the first thing that I really wanted um, this is another part that I purchased this is the background paper that they have and if you haven't seen this collection this is really pretty paper now these are perfect for cards um, and I may or may not use all of these but um, they, they'll coordinate nicely and I'm going to pick and choose what I want to use. I am using um, the 12 Days of Christmas 12 by 12 pad. Um, and I haven't decided yet and I haven't even opened this yet. This is another part that I purchased. And I haven't quite decided yet if I'm going to be using this for the base of my tags or if I'm going to use the 8 by 8 But this is part of it. And then this is the collection part that I won from Graphic 45, which was so exciting to me. But this is the 12 Days of Christmas and it's the 8 by 8 So it's the exact same pad as the 12 by 12 pad, only it's scaled down. So we'll see how I, I'm going to do that. And then I have these chipboard stickers that um, were part of the collection that they sent me. And they actually sent me two sets of those, um, chipboard one and chipboard two. So I have those. We'll see how those play in a part. And then these are the um, just the thinner, regular type stickers of the 12 days. And there's even, I, actually they may not even be stickers. Now that I look at them, it's not stickers. They're tags and pockets. So who knows, maybe we'll kind of play with those. And I honestly, if you bought this, let's see, you could maybe almost do it with just that. Probably not, but lots of fun. We'll see how that plays a part. And then this is the just the 12 Days of Christmas stickers. And it's just got a part of the collection that matches. I am going to be using tags, bags, boxes, and more. I also went through in the Cricut Craft Room and used the, the Cricut exclusive it's the one that you comes free if you sign up for the Cricut Craft Room and it's got a basic font or two and then it has um, a few shapes. It's not a very large cartridge, but I am going to be using those if I can. At last check, my internet was down for some reason. Every once in a while it just goes out and I had it all set up and ready to go. So I'm hoping I'll be able to use, um, I'll have an internet connection when it comes time to cut that part. So I'm going to get started and I will be back very soon. Thanks. Okay, so I have finished all of my tags and I actually have finished all 12 of them. Um, and I'm not going to have time to get an extra set out. I was hoping I could do an extra set as a giveaway, but there's no way I could get them mailed in time for you to give them away. So hopefully we'll be able to do that again next year. Life has just been a bit crazy. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to show you the first three tags to finish off this video. And then in a few days, I will show you a second video that has the rest of the tags or at least some of the tags. I'm not sure yet how I will break it up, but, um, this video is already getting a bit long. And so I want to just show you three so that it doesn't get too long to show you the other, um, nine that I made. So this is a piece of the 8x8 eight eight paper. What I ended up doing is I ended up using the 12x12 12 12 paper as my bases. So I was able to cut two from each base. Now as you see in this piece of paper, we've got this section here that says three French hens and four calling birds. And so um, two tags in a row were made from the same paper. I cut my um, tags using tags, bags, boxes, and more as I said I would. And I cut each of the tags at eight and a half inches and I used the last four tags on the top line and I cut them at eight and a half inches just in the regular tag form I didn't use any special features and so I ended up with um, different um, size tags because the eight and a half inches is the length um, but the widths vary depending on which tag you choose 
Um, you see on the bottom here, it says, um, on the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens. And then if you turn it on the side, it says, on the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds. And each one, each side um, has the one set of this um, from the song, and the top and the bottom has the other to coordinate with that paper. So I use that on some of the tags, and I believe on all of the ones that I showed you today, I use that. And so um, I cut those apart to use those. Now, I know that there's a lot here that's just kind of left on the page, but I'll be able to do something with that. Trust me, it will not go to waste. Um, for these first few tags, I used a few other items. Um, from Three Girl Jam, I used three different sets of ribbon. I used the Holly Berry ribbon, I used the Goblin Green, and I used the Ribbon Candy, the brand new set for this Christmas season. And um, I used all three of those on the various ones of the tags. Um, just, they're gorgeous, gorgeous ribbons. And then I used two Distress Inks, and um, they were for inking up my, um, my printed sayings that I showed you earlier. And I used set Festive Berries and Pine Needles. Then I used Versa Mark, and on these uh, um, particular tags, I use white embossing powder to go with my Versa Mark and the stamp set. I had this bag of charms that I had picked up off of eBay last year at Christmas time, and I used quite a few of them. Not all of the tags ended up with charms, but several of them did because I wanted to have a variety. Now, also part of the 8x8, and probably the 12x12, but I didn't take the 12x12, I wanted the 8x8 size. Um, there were these little tags in the um, paper pad, and I used those. They're double-sided, and I just used whichever ones were appropriate for some of them. And I think, I can't remember if this had six or eight of them. Um, I didn't use a lot of them on this project. I just used a few, but I did use a few of those. So on the ones that I'm sh going to show you today, this Graphic 45 paper, um, let me pull this one out. This is the three and four, like I showed you. This is one side of it, and this is the other side. On the tags that I'm going to show you today, I made this kind of be what I would consider the back side, and this is where I put my sayings. Then on the uh, this, I made to be the front side so that I could add more decorations. Now, my to in this particular case, these topi topiaries were larger because it was the 12 by 12 paper. So let me show you what I did. So this is day one, and this one says, on the first day of Christmas, your true love gave to you a partridge in a pear tree. Sorry, but I couldn't find the partridge, so I'm giving you some pears from the tree the partridge flew away from. And so this is the back side, and I didn't do anything else. I inked the edges of the tag. Again, this is the pine needle. I inked the edges of the tag, and I just um, glued the tag down. Now, they're going at various angles, depending on which tag I use, but this is a pretty large tag. And so then on the front, and this is really busy, but you see I tied a bow, and this is my first little Christmas tree charm, and this is the green ribbon candy. And then I use one of the chipboard pieces here that's the pear. And you can see here that I have the, um, I, I mentioned that I was going to cut using um, the Cricut Craft Room, and I was able to do that. And I actually made them a little bit larger, and I just sized them to what I thought would fit the stamp. The stamps are about two by two-ish um, from the highest point to the widest points as well. And so I put, um, I I used the Versamark, and then I white emboss that. I just like that contrast. This is one of those cards that I use, and this is actually says on the first day of Christmas. And then this is one of the uh, the sides. And yes, it's redundant. It says the same thing, but that's okay. It's kind of a collage. And then I took some lace from my stash, and in and when I used lace, I used score tape to adhere it down, just because it's a bit stronger. Um, and then my others, I use my ATG. Every once in a while I use the glue dot, depending on what I was doing. So there's the first tag, so I'll set that aside. Tag two, the same thing. On the second day of Christmas, your true love gave to you two turtle doves. Unfortunately, I don't have any. Well, candy turtles on a bar of dove soap do, which I thought is cute. And so this time I used the red ribbon candy and a different charm. This is a 
little stocking stuff full and overflowing. I used another chipboard and I it's a chipboard tag actually and so I just tied a uh, bow through the hole in the tag and glued that down and then this again I used the piece on the side there. And then for the third one which is the last one I'm going to show today um, this is on the third day of Christmas my trade loaf gave to me three French hens and again I've got another one of these tags here I've got another one of those chipboard little squares this is the goblin green ribbon and there's a little reindeer charm tied in kind of hiding in there the back says on the third day of Christmas your true love gave to you three French hens the French hens were not available so I'm giving you some chicken noodle soup compliments of the three French hens and so each of those um, gifts coordinate with this so we are going to get these off and into um, our neighbors hands and um, in a few days I will show you the rest of the tags so thanks so much for stopping by today and remember take some time to enjoy the little things have a great day bye